Hey guys, what's going on? We got another PvP video here as an Enhancement Shaman. Uh, we are back in the solo shuffle at about 2400 MMR and we pull off an amazing game. But anyways, first off, um, I'm trying out a new weapon called the Thorncaller. It's from Raid. I have it at a 528 item level, so I'm giving it a shot. And it, it didn't do too bad, uh, but the damage output, I don't know if it's worth it, but I'm going to keep playing with it. But anyways, we got a Demo Lock, we got a Resto Druid, we got a Marksman Hunter, we got an Unholy DK, and we got a Prez Evoker. So this matchup is pretty good. As you can tell, I'm not running Grounding Totem. I am running Shamanism and Burrow, as well as Stormweaver. I just, I don't know, I didn't feel like I needed Grounding Totem or Counter-Strike. I just wanted to go full hand with Shamanism and pump as much as possible. Anyways, here I am with the Demo Lock. So priority here is going to be uh, hitting kind of the DK. I'm going to follow on what the Warlock wants. This entire game, I just followed what my teammates wanted to do, and that's all I did. If I saw somebody taking a whole lot of damage, it was uh, I, I was switching with it, right? So I just followed, and it just ended up working out. But here, the Evoker got pretty close in, so I just started hitting them, getting a little bit low, and then I switched back to the DK. So I'm doing my best here to support. I see a sleep on the Druid, so I know, okay, it's a bit of damage is coming out. But the hunter kind of backs off and then starts hitting our druid, knocking him out of his sleep. While we kind of have this DK sitting here, just pumping him down. He's taking a lot of damage. Uh, we're really good against DKs in this format because I believe Demonology Warlocks mostly do physical damage. It's weird to say, but I think a lot of their damage is physical. And we're just able to pump this DK out. I'm able to funnel into him and just pump and pump and pump. So here I see the druid get slept, so I'm instantly trying to tremor him out. I am really watching for things. The uh, the Prez goes in for a rescue or whatever and brings the DK back. I lasso the Hunter because uh, the Druid got uh, trapped, so I just stopped his damage. I didn't want him to capitalize on it, on that at all. I just wanted to stop. The uh, Warlock gets a really nice fear, forcing Rewind, so I go ahead and hex him off of that. The DK starts pushing away from his healer, which is very odd. I see the Warlock taking a bit of damage, so I go ahead and toss him a uh, healing surge but yeah i think the dk made a big mistake of losing his pres evoker but you know what that happens when you got so many pets all around and you get lost completely it was it was a great match the warlock did awesome cc like all these guys like all i did was follow their uh follow their uh, calls and stuff and then just capitalize on it right that's all i did that's all i wanted to do so here i'm setting up my shamanism macro making sure i can bloodlust the dk and just pump the crap out of him so here i ask him what do you want to do what do you want to do and he's like let's go for the mm hunter perfect let's do that so i go ahead get a root on him dk walks up top so instead of going in front of the uh, warlock i follow him right i don't want to be you know I don't want to be their focus so here i'm standing back and i just get purges out on the dragon i get feared by the warlock but i go ahead and trinket i also th in this one i make a big mistake with my tremor i go ahead and uh cc the warlock just kind of slow a bit of damage slow a bit of cc allow the druid to get off a clone on the healer and that causes a trinket uh, i see double fear here and i realize too late i see another fear but I don't have my trinket to get him out of that and uh it was a bit unfortunate he had to use everything he had out of that so that was a big fault on my part i shouldn't have trinketed so early because i would have uh, been able to tremor the druid saving a lot of his time and cooldowns but here we start pushing in i feel a bit unsafe pushing in because i know my druid wants to stay back a little bit so i'm just kind of you know finding out where to go and there you can see my tremors already gone cooldown and the warlock got a fear off and now i'm screwed i can't help the druid get out of that so that really sucked i get stunned so i'm i'm off healing right here right i'm trying to spend my maelstrom get my storm weavers the druid does or not the druid the dk does a nice grip into like a full team blind just stopping their damage allowing the druid to catch back up that was amazing uh but here you can see see we're on top of this uh hunter all day we're just able to stick to him the whole time, non-stop, just pumping him. But yeah, so in that matchup, I made a lot of mistakes with Tremor. Thankfully, the Druid was able to carry my mistakes and, you know, just fix them. 
because yeah that was that was big on my part missing my tremor because i don't think i got anything with that tremor i just fat fingered it and it sucked i do that in a later round too but here we're with the mm hunter i forgot to set up my uh, shamanism macro but uh you know thankfully it worked out anyways i don't know how much how well uh hunters work with uh haste but you know it still worked out so here the dk pushes in so i'm just trying to pull them through i know my hunter wants to play up top so i'm gonna try and capitalize on it uh hunter wants to go warlock so i'm like okay let's do it so we start wailing on the warlock he's running away and he ports so i'm like okay i'm not pushing into that because my druid's still back and i really don't want to uh try and dick around with that here i push in a little bit more because i know my druids at the stairs warlock gates out completely out of the game here so i'm like okay let's just go for the dk gonna go for a hex i just saw the kick from the dk and we just capitalize on it the hunter is doing crazy damage on this dk just pumping and pumping doing a great job staying hidden as well and we're just able to take him out it's just amazing there i could have also tremored the druid but you know dk was dead uh, but yeah the hunter did a great job losing staying up top there and just being able to free cast all the whole time while me just trying to dip in and out watching for where my healer is making sure my positioning isn't too screwed up so i have burrow but i don't often use it but i like having burrow as a safety mechanism right just in case you never know but anyways here we're with the prez evoker now we have the unholy dk on our side so same call as last time let's go for the hunter so that's what we do i drop a totem somehow he gets broken out i guess uh the dk got some bleeds or whatever on him so first thing the prez evoker does sleep the druid great triggers his trinket perfect druid goes ahead and pops incarn i think i think that's his full incarn so i can't do anything but what i'm watching for is cyclones I'm looking for that Cyclone cast and getting ready to kick it. There, the Dragon does a nice kick onto his Cyclone. I used my wall because I know they want to go for me. I'm scared. But here, I should have tremored a lot sooner. As you can see, I got nothing. But at the same time, we didn't have too, too much damage. But, like, I definitely should have tremored that fear. 100%. So here, I stay in the AMS. Now it's gone. So I'm going to push in. They had a great grip and uh, root combo there. I really like that. It's probably a bit of luck, but hey. Um, so yeah, I'm really focused on healing myself as well. I want to try and save the Prez Evoker a bit of mana. Just using my Stormweaver procs, you know, getting them out and getting ready. There's a clone. Go ahead and kick it. Bam. There's the Bloodlust. We start pumping. I go ahead and trick it. And there's Turtle. I'm like, okay, good. We got a bit of things. DK brings everybody in and blinds. There's the cheat death from the Prez, so I'm a little bit scared now that I don't have a cheat death. Go ahead and Sunder, and we're able to take him out. It was very, very lucky there. Um, thankfully, he had cheat death. Uh, it would have been a mistake on my part if I had died there because I have Burrow, right? So thankfully, I mean, I think most Prez, I think that's what the Golden Dragon is uh beside his time dilation i think that is his cheat death timer so that's what i went off of and thankfully i was correct <laughs> or else that would have been really really bad but anyways we got the warlock with us this time and our primary target is going to be the dk once again but at the same time it's like okay we can swap right we can always hit that hunter and i think he called out for the hunter but the hunter's playing really far back dk's really pushed in so we're gonna kind of start on the dk just kind of pump them a little bit i know they want me i see the cooldown so i go ahead and walk right i don't want anything to do with taking damage and dying within a stun so we go ahead and wall there's the bloodlust warlock is pumping right now i'm doing a lot of cleave damage i'm taking a lot of damage too like i'm kind of scared i go ahead and start healing myself you know with my stormweaver procs very very helpful uh still taking a lot of damage here so there's the cheat death okay i'm scared if i get low again i'm gonna burrow right this team comp is going to be pumping but somehow the prez evoker is just keeping me alive he's he's pumping the heals into me like no tomorrow he's doing an amazing job keeping me alive here we get the hunter very very low but the druid's able to capitalize and heal him up so i get a bit scared here i go ahead and burrow right i'm nervous i don't want to die i see another cast for a cyclone 
The Warlock also sees it and goes ahead and mortal coils it. So we get kind of an overlap there with an interrupt as well as a mortal coil. But here we start pumping the Hunter again. I bring out Rocky because I want to heal a little bit, right? I want that extra stamina. I go ahead and trinket the stun because I'm scared. I want to get my uh, Maelstrom Spenders off and heal as much as I can. I use Sunder to just kind of, you know, generate some stacks. There's Turtle. Great. So we make a very hard swap onto this DK. We know, okay, Druid sucks at uh, swapping heals, right? Because Druids really struggle with that. Like, this Druid doesn't suck, obviously. But Druids, in general, suck at swapping heals because of their hots. So we're like, okay, Turtle, bam, let's switch to the DK. Boom, deleted. It's just quick like that. You always have to capitalize on that against Druids. But yeah, as you can see, the Warlock also followed through. He knew exactly, like, yeah, let's get it. And he just fell over. So this is where... Um, <laughs> This is where I made a lot of mistakes, but thankfully my team was able to carry me. Uh, but so here, the DK charges right in, right? I know the Hunter wants to play up top, so I'm getting ready. The Prez goes ahead and sleeps the DK. Perfect. I don't have to deal with him. So I start hitting the Warlock. He ports out. Okay, sure, whatever. So I go onto the DK, start pumping him, getting a lot of damage here. And then I switch back to the Warlock. I just, I'm trying to pump whatever I can touch, right? So here, here is where a big mistake happens. I see the fear and we get a kick on it, right? He goes again, I get another stop on it. Perfect, okay? So he pushes right back in and he should be casting another fear once again. And I go ahead and use Tremor, but the dragon uh, LOSs it. I didn't wait for the tech because I didn't want to get CC'd. They kill the Tremor totem. And unfortunately, I no longer have Tremor, which really sucks. And then I get CC'd because I missed a kick on a Cyclone. So they push in up top. They want to play up top. Okay. So I try to knock them off. Doesn't really work, but whatever. I'm going to keep hitting this Warlock. I kind of back off to try and get a Hex, but then the Druid gets an Incarn. So it's kind of like, ugh. But uh, there, the Evoker gets feared again. So I'm like, crap, I don't have Tremor for him. I get very scared. I use, uh, I miss Healing Search somehow. I thought I targeted him, but I think I targeted myself. So I start hitting the, just the Druid a little bit. You know, he's in my way. There I saw a fear coming. So I go ahead and Sunder it to stop it. Another fear, we get a kick on it, right? That's a priority. I go ahead and knock everybody off. I don't want, uh, I don't want the DK up here, but he goes ahead and grips the Hunter down. It's kind of unfortunate, but the Hunter's able to climb right back up, go for a Hex, force drew it into cat form. That actually procced his, um, uh, whatever that thing is anyways, so that was pretty okay, making him a bit more targetable, right? But we don't really need it. So here, they st the Hunter's playing on the edge because he knows we can knock them off and also forcing the Druid into awkward spots. I saw the Cyclone, I should have went ahead and kicked it. It's just, I'm really hating myself here. But uh, here, I see Thunderstorms off cooldown. The dragon does a great job knocking people off. Druid pushes in a little bit. You can see here, he's in front of me. Warlock's here, and poof. Bye-bye, Warlock. And so we're like, okay, DK, let's get him. Dragon sleeps, and yeah. But anyways, that is it for this video. We got a sick, so hopefully you guys enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Laters!